right, guys, so I'm trying to get the camera situated here. So I'm redoing this Link Riser video because I keep getting people... I keep getting people basically commenting on the other video. Let me get these drill bits out of here. I need to clean. I've been working on so much stuff. I've got a lot more stuff I've got to move on to. So this is going to be the last time I do a video on this particular part for the ascent. Um, so I'm redoing this. I guess we're going to call this part two. Uh, I keep getting people comment on the other video that about the link that I have I provided for this is the link riser and I'm going to bear with me here. I'm going to get you into a close view of the link link riser here for the ascent. Um, I thought providing the name uh, and then where to find him Facebook was enough. Um, the links that he's given me, guys, I can't, I can't, it won't let me, he gave me an Instagram, yes, I do have an Instagram, I don't mess with it, uh, I haven't posted on there forever, social media stuff kind of just, eh, it's not really for me, the reason why I do the Facebook, I started, you know, doing the Facebook stuff was mainly, you know, to just peruse groups and find information, and I started the RC Dungeon to try to kind of help the channel grow. Uh, I thought maybe it would help it a little bit. So, you know, I've never had good interactions or exchanges between people in most RC groups on Facebook. Because in my opinion, people are just rude. Um, I'm doing this video to try to provide you guys, I guess, with a little better look at this. I guess the other video wasn't good enough. Uh, trying to help you guys out. That's all the reason why I'm doing these videos. Um, so let's just get into it. This is a link riser and I'll explain, explain to my knowledge of my understanding of how the link riser works and why it helps. Uh, it is from unfair advantage. I don't know how else I can do this. Unfair advantage. There is, there is his unfair advantage. That's the sticker sheet. Unfair advantage. You can, I think you can search him maybe on Facebook and Instagram with that. Uh, his name is Ryan Short. Ryan Short. You guys can just type in Ryan Short on Facebook. You should be able to pull him up. He'll have a set stuff on his on his Facebook page. He's not like a privately set, or he wasn't private privately set. You should be able to just type in Ryan Short, Ryan Short on Facebook and find him. Uh, you know, he's just, he's not like a professional business guy or anything. He just, he makes these parts, the 3D printed, he makes some other stuff. He makes good stuff. It's nice stuff. Um, you know, I, I bought his link riser for my daughter's Gen 8 off of him because it worked. Uh, there is some other companies, I, I think, providing link risers out there too to keep in mind. No, I don't have links for them because I'm not running their products. Uh, there's HTech, I believe. You can just Google HTech RC; it'll pull it up. Um, there's another guy, and he's in the Red Cat uh, group, and I think he's selling the Link Riser pretty cheap too. And now I don't know his name because this worked. It hasn't broke; it's held up. So my money goes to Ryan Short. Because his product, in my opinion, was worth what I paid for it. I think I gave like 20 bucks for it. I don't know. I bought it a while back. 2025 shipped. I can't remember. Um, and he's always been a good guy to me. So I'm going to get, evidently, I didn't get close enough into the product on the last video. Uh, so I'm doing this again. Bear with me. I'm going to shut the camera off and we're going to zoom in. I'm not a professional studio. I don't have professional filming equipment. I'm just a person that works a normal job. I pay for the stuff out of my own pocket. So my filming stuff is budget stuff. Uh, I have been trying to upgrade a little bit as I go. I am not a big YouTube channel that gets paid tons of money every month and gets free stuff sent to them uh, to give you guys reviews on. So you have to bear with me. I appreciate you guys that watch the channel and take the time out to watch the videos. I just want to make sure I completely explain that to you guys. No, and I'm not a professional editor in any ways. You know, I 
thought I did halfway decent videos for you guys. I was hoping that, you know, guys were getting use out of my videos. Maybe, you know, I'm trying to improve it, you know, a little bit of the time I can, guys. You know, right now, it's been really hard for me to even get down in here and do videos. Um, because it's just, we've had a lot of family stuff going on. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I got this out there and did a good enough job for Mr. Short. Um, you know, because he's always been good to me. Uh, so doing this video one more time uh, to try to get a better product shot up close and explain this to you guys. Okay, so that's about the best I can get you here with my... El Cheapo Wapo camera filming setup. Like I said, I'm not a professional filming studio here, guys. I'm downstairs in the RC Dungeons basement. That's where I that's where I do my filming. Uh, that's where my hobby room set up. I'm trying to get you guys zoomed in here. I'm sorry the camera's moving around. Like I said, I know it's not the best thing in the world. I'm not, you know, one of these channels that have tons of money and equipment and money to blow on equipment. So uh link riser ryan short facebook what a link riser does and this i'm sure somebody's gonna say that that's not 100 percent true accurate i don't know from my understanding this is what a link riser does it retriangulates the downforce from the links from the the downforce to the front of the truck to keep the front of the truck down that's from my understanding all I know is, is it worked. Um, and, you know, I researched it a little bit because do yourself a favor before you just blow money. Do the research. If you think it'll work for you, try it. If not, then don't. I mean, 20 bucks, 25 bucks. If you go out to eat, cut yourself out a McDonald's meal one day. There you go. Uh, you know, try it out. You know, it's not like you're throwing that much money away, honestly. Um, this does work for me. For me. I always say that in my videos, for me, my driving style, this works. Uh, with the combination of the modifications I put on there, it works extremely well. Uh, so, that's just my understanding of what a link riser does. It retriangulates the downforce, the amount of downforce you're putting on the front end. Because I'm going to spin this around, we're going to leave, this isn't going to be in camera view. I'm hoping the front of the truck is still in camera view here a little bit. I might have to... No, it's not going to be. So, uh, let me restop this and move this back again. Okay, so, here we go. So, we got... I've done the usual portal weights on the front of this truck. The outer counterweight portals. And the reason why you see the Trill aluminum hubs in the middle... Is because I had so much steering after bending. You don't got to go out and buy super expensive links, guys. If you want to do a budget build, you can bend your stock steering link. Works just fine. You need like a millimeter spacer on each end. That fixes your toe problem. I see guys posting about that in the Facebook groups. Bend your stock link. Save your money if you're doing a budget build. If you want it to look pretty and fancy, I didn't care because the truck gets beat on the rocks. It's going to get scratched, it's going to get beat up, it's going to get used. I didn't care whether I had a pretty link to get scratched on the front or not. My good friend, I appreciate him, he bent the front link for me. One millimeter spacer, one millimeter spacer on each side, screwed my end links back on. Boom, just like that, toe cor uh, the, it's corrected. You got the right, exact where you want to be for your steering. It gives you extra steering. Uh... Sorry, I couldn't get it to turn all the way there. It was sitting on my mount. So, that's what I did with the front up here. You don't got to go blowing $20, $30 for extra steering links. Uh, that that's This works fine just bending your front link. He used a wood clamp to bend mine. all I know. Uh, I'm sure that there's a way you can figure out, guys, if you want to bend your stock one. Uh, if you're a you know shop guy, you're going to be able to bend this, this link. You can heat it. I, I don't think he even heated mine. Uh, that I know of, he just bent it, it just bent it, um, and he, you know, I don't think he had that much trouble bending it either, so I'm sure he'll see this video, and he'll comment maybe down there and below, and explain it to you guys, I don't know whether he will or not, he's not a big social media guy either, uh, that's half of my problem, I, I don't, I don't do all these social media stuff, 
Uh, I do Facebook to try to, to I did Facebook to try to help the channel grow and to be able to share. I don't even like sharing in groups because you always run into somebody being, you know, I'm not, I'm trying to use clean language here. Uh, I just not friendly. Um, and I've ran into that so much in Facebook groups that it just, it just makes you not want to go be part of any of the groups. Uh, cause no matter what, you just get some, somebody in there that's got to have some snide comment, sideways comment. And it just, it aggravates me. And sometimes I do lose my temper a little easy, but, uh, you know, it just, it, it does get to you after a while. Uh, and you just, you want to reach through there and choke them through the, <laughs> but anyways, moving back on here. Uh, so I, that's the mods. I, I, that's the only weight I have. It's, that's the only weight I feel the truck really needs. Uh, I mean, I'm doing up 88%, uh, grades with this, uh, with no problems at all. You know, it's not struggling as long as, you know what I mean? It's not lifting a tire now. Uh, even with this setup before the link riser, I still had the problem with the three link letting the one front. I can't remember which side it is. It's been a while since I run this now. Uh, but it was letting the one side unload on me and it was lifting up still. And that was on about an 88% incline. Uh, it would, it would on that rock, the videos, you guys go back and watch. All I can tell you is watch the videos. Uh, you know, if you want the information, do the work, watch the videos. Um, I'm not trying to be a jerk here or anything. I'm just telling you, uh, the videos are on there. If you take the time out to watch them and you listen to what I'm saying, you know, I know it's hard. I'm annoying sometimes maybe, but. If you watch the videos, the information is there, and we've went out and run these things in different ways and configurations. For sure, this works. So you got the counterweights on the outside, and then it was still unloading on me. I've even with the little see mini T springs and my inner springs. I I always had my inner springs back or in the front of my shocks. I never pulled them out of my truck. The video of the red truck on there is my buddy's. He did pull the inner springs out. Uh, and no, it made it worse, 100%. I had a comment on that video. Yes, I, I personally know that the inner springs are there to keep the front end down. Even with the inner springs on that climb that I was making on that rock, it's very steep, guys. You might not be able to tell it from that video. That is an extreme hard climb. Uh, I know it's hard to believe, maybe, from a couple rednecks. But anyways, I've done this for a long time. The... It would still lift even with the Losi Mini T springs in the front and my inner springs. So just literally bolting on this link riser here from Ryan Short. You can find him on Facebook. Uh, it quit lifting that front front wheel. It was like snap of a finger. That's how it was just it improved it instantly. I have no. It barely, 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 rarely will ever lift that front tire. By running this link riser. So I'm going to go back into another close close up of it. Stay with me in the video. If you want to, if you want the information, you watch the video. Okay, that's about the best I'm going to be able to get you here. I'm just using my phone. I don't have professional filmography stuff. Just my phone and a $10 lighted camera mount that I've now upgraded to. I put my money in my RC stuff. Try to bring you guys, I thought I was doing halfway decent on videos, maybe not. Um, so anyways, this is the Link Riser again. It has three adjustment holes. It comes with everything you need. Like you would just go to a hobby shop and you would buy the part. It comes with everything. He gives you the screw. It Everything is there provided, Every at least for me. Every time I've ordered from him, he has given me... All the stuff I need, it bolts straight on. I didn't have to modify anything. It went straight on mine. It is a 3D printed part. So some people may buy one. You might have to do a little inkling of work to get it to work. I don't know. Mine bolted straight to my axle housing right here with no problem. I run your stock links on the top. Uh, I haven't found a need to swap out my stock links on the top. He gives you the longer screw. You, can, you got different, like I said, there's different mounting points. There's like three... There's one here, one in the middle on the top. I'm pretty sure, if I remember right, it's been a while. He recommended going with the top, so that's what I went with. Um, and like I said, snap of fingers like that, guys. The front end of the truck quit coming up, so it definitely works. Uh, I don't know what else to do to show you guys a better, you know, view of this of this part. I mean, I'm trying here. Uh, 
you know, it, it, it's 20 bucks, I think 25 bucks. There's another guy, like I said, I don't have his, I'm, I, and I'm not affiliated with Ryan, really, I'm not getting anything out of this, guys, I don't get kickbacks on anything, he mailed me these because I've been buying parts off of them, that's what he mailed me, he sent me these as kind of like a gift, uh, to, and I know, uh, I, they, like, oh, those are terrible, well, I, I hated my shock towers, my shock towers hanging out of here, uh, my extensions, I ended up bending one of them, so I just kind of bonded these down to the body to keep from hitting my shock towers. Uh, I'm sure these these will hit, they'll break. They're just 3D printed, but I put them on there. Uh, he sent me those. You know, I, I pay for my stuff from everybody. You know, like I said, I'm not a great big freebie channel. I don't get stuff, guys mailing me stuff. I'm not getting really anything out of doing these videos for him or anything. I'm just sharing a product with you guys to try to benefit, you know, to help you guys out. Because uh, that's how I work in the RC hobby. Um, I just been getting a lot of those comments on the videos. Like I said, I'm trying to do the best I can here, guys. Um, you know, this is the best I can do for you. I don't, I don't know how much more up close I could get showing you the product. Uh, you know, it's, it's, I'm not going to pull it off the truck. It's, it's right here. It's a link riser. It bolts to your axle housing. You can see that your link, your, your link mounts bolt through it. Uh, hopefully this helps everybody out that's been asking. Yeah, I, I just, I don't know what else to do. Um, you know, he the every every link he sent me will not attach to my to my YouTube videos. Uh, I have contacted YouTube. I unfortunately I don't get a whole lot of support on for, on my YouTube channel. Uh, I don't know why. You know, maybe I'm just doing cruddy videos. I have no idea. I'm trying here. I, I try, guys. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to redo this. I'm gonna try to get it posted up today. Uh, I've got a lot of other projects I was going to share on the channel. Uh, I've been working on a TRX-6 hauler that I picked up on trade that I wanted to do some video or I wanted to do some stuff with here. Um, I was going to do that. The Wraith is pretty much finished up. You guys may have watched, may have not. I don't know the run video of it. It was really super impressive. Uh, to be honest with you, that Wraith will almost kick this truck's butt. Uh, to be honest with you, my Wraith, if you would pull the brass off of this, probably, or the link riser, and pull the brass off the front of my 10-3 truck that I have modded, my Wraith will smoke both these trucks. Uh, for climate, like, you know, ascending like that, real steep. Uh, I'm super impressed with that Wraith. Took me a long time to get it set up how I wanted it, but... Uh, but anyways, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. And everything cycles here in your suspension. Nothing hits. Um, if I remember right, he sent me a 3D printed part that goes between your shock towers that allows the clearance. He does do that too. Uh, I bought so much stuff here lately. I bought off of him. and uh, uh, that uh, I'm pretty sure he sends you. The, there's like a little piece here. I had already done away with that garbage. You don't need all that bracing. You just don't need it. Uh, that Red Cat puts in there. It's, it's a bunch of added weight. I did a video on that too where I removed it. Uh, and I just had this one piece, aluminum piece here, uh, that goes in between. And it, I just put it between my shock towers because I've got my rear brace here and it's all open. I've not bent or bent anything. Uh, the only thing I've had trouble bending is, is my front shock key up here. Uh, I bent the tab over on it on a real hard, like 10, 15 foot drop off. It smacked, landed right on that and bent it. Uh, didn't bend these shock towers. It bent the key mount up here that I made. So you can see everything cycles. Everything goes through. You don't got to worry about any of that stuff. He hooks you up with everything you need to put it on the truck. Uh, hopefully this video helps people. Um, like I said, I'm trying here, guys. Uh, you know, done the best I can. Um, hopefully there's another shot of it. I think it's in camera frame right there pretty well. It's a Link Riser. Ryan Short. Facebook, go to Facebook, Ryan Short, you'll find him, go to the Red Cat forums, uh, join the, if you're looking for a scent stuff, why not just go ahead and join the group, uh, at the least amount you're going to get out of it, go up to the search bar on the Red Cat forums, I think he's, I'm pretty sure he's in all of them, and type in Ryan Short or Unfair Advantage, you'll find him, and then you can literally just click on his name and just message him, hey man, are you the are you the guy that makes the link risers? 
uh, for the Red Cat Ascent and the Gen 9, because I know the Gen 9 uses the same. Uh, I'm sure he'll hook you up. Uh, if, you know, if it's, if it's the Ryan Short that's in that, in the Red Cat forum, uh, groups on Facebook. So, yeah, that's the best I can do. I'm sorry, guys. I wish I could do better. Like I said, I was just trying to clear up clarification because I keep getting those comments. You know, I'm doing the best here I can, guys. Bear with me. From the RC Dungeon. Ooh, peace.